Alright, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get rich on any Skybox server. I do just want to say that this guide does work best in a server I'm playing on right now, Exodus Embassy. Although, it does work well in any other Skybox server. So, if you do want to join Exodus Embassy, the IP is hunt.exodusembassy.org. So, the next time you're on Minecraft, make sure to add that to your server list. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, as it helps out a lot. And yeah, let's get on. Alright, uh, before I get started, I'm just going to claim my Eternal Rank Kit, just because it will give me a start to the server. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is start grinding mobs. Because in any Skybox server which you join, when you kill mobs, you'll be given a bunch of OP rewards, just like these. I'm getting a bunch of crystals, spawners, and even loot boxes, which will give me so much amazing stuff. The things which I like about grinding mobs so much is, honestly, it's just really fun. It pretty much never gets boring, and you can just do it for hours on end. With that being said though, if killing mobs does get boring for you, there are a bunch of other alternatives. Farming is another alternative, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Even though I'm mining hay right now, the more I level up my hoe, the better stuff I'll be able to mine. You can see in this screen here, I've just leveled up my hoe. And when we get to level 5, I'll be able to mine sugarcane, potatoes, neverwort, and a whole bunch of stuff, which gives me way more money. Once you manage to mine a lot of stuff, then you can do slash sell all in chat, and you'll get a lot of money from that. So as you can see, I've just managed to level my hoe up to level 5, and that means I can go to different zones to get even more money from mining. But if you're thinking, man, I don't really want to do any farming, kind of more like peaceful way to grind is fishing, and... Most Skybox servers will have like their own unique place for this, but if you're on Exodus MC and you do slash war and head to the dark zone, this will be the best place for you to go fishing. Alright, so when you spawn in, you just want to head down this big hole and head to the fishing bit. Alright, so you'll then get to this big pool, and as you can see in chat, it says you will gain a two times fishing boost here, which is extremely helpful, and that's why you should always go here. Then it's pretty self-explanatory, just get your fishing rod and start fishing. Fish also aren't the only thing which you can get, you can get a bunch of money and spawners and this is why fishing can be so good. Alright, so we have a fish coming and... Okay, that time I actually just got a fish. If you do want better luck and you really want to grind this, if you do slash warp and go into unlockable zones, there is a lake which you can go to and the more you fish, the better the lakes will get and your luck will increase. So if you only want to do fishing for a bit, you should go to the dark zone, but if you plan on doing it for a very long time, you should go to the lake. Oh, I got three magma cube spawners, and you can see I got some money and some, I think that's essence in chat. Alright, we got another one coming, what will it give me? Oh, and look, we just got 500,000 coins. That's amazing. Now, another thing which is different from killing mobs is killing bosses. And as you can probably tell, they are way, way better than killing normal mobs. So if you do slash warp and then click on the ancient ruins, you will see a bunch of mobs like the Death Eater and Helios, I think that is. But you can see these guys don't have much health and these aren't as good. But if you go around the landscape, you'll be able to find mobs like this. And I'll show you what happens when you kill them. Alright, so I'm about to kill it and... You can see it in chat, I got so much essence and coins, and a bunch of crate keys, including boss crate keys. So this is a fun way for you to grind, but now I'm going to show you a different method. Mining is a great way to get more money, and as you can see there's already people here mining. So basically you just need to start off by mining lapis, and as this goes on you'll be able to mine all the other ores here, and eventually climb through the mine shaft and get to the top. And once you get there, if you keep on mining, guaranteed you'll be the richest in the whole entire server. Also, if you think this is too slow for you, if this looks too slow for you, then as I mine, I am getting more essence. As you can see on my scoreboard, I have 3,000. And if you right click on your pickaxe, you'll be able to upgrade it. And then there's so much things you can upgrade to make it faster. And just like farming, if you do slash sell all in chat, you'll be making a bunch of money with all of them. But there's one last grinding stage, which will definitely be good for getting money. And that's mining wood. You probably haven't seen wood chopping much in other Skybox servers, but the server I'm on, Exodus MC, it's really good. It's the same as all the other grinding methods, and it's like mining, except from this time, you instantly mine it. As you can see in my scoreboard, my money goes up super fast, I'm getting like a few million every single second, it's insane. You even get OP crate keys from mining trees, and as you can see here, if you do slash crates, I get so much good stuff by opening them. And this will give you a huge boost to becoming the most powerful on the server. Another good thing is I just think it's really satisfying. The terrain's amazing and since you can instantly mine it, it's just something which you can do to have fun. 
Now, this is another method which some Skyblock servers will have, but some will, and it's opening loot boxes. If you don't know what loot boxes are, they're basically just overpowered crates which can give you a bunch of stuff, and I'm just gonna open mine right now. Alright, so I'm opening all of mine, and hopefully I just get some really overpowered stuff. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of spawners, pet boxes, robots, just so much stuff, and that was only from five, and look how many I have. Alright, so I'm gonna just go ahead and just open some more, hope to get some even better stuff. Alright, all my stuff is coming in, and oh my days, look at all this stuff that's just coming in in chat, this is so insane. I'm gonna quickly just stash all my spawners in here, and I'll place them down later. Alright, so these are two better loot boxes which I'm opening, and I'm hoping these are giving me even better stuff. Got some robots, I got a booster box, and oh my days, I'm at 15 billion money. What? And the best thing is, I didn't even have to pay to get any of these. When I joined this server, I was pretty much just given these, and especially if you do slash redeem hunt in chat, you will get given loot boxes which you can open for rewards just like these. Alright, so I've just got five more loot boxes to open, and then I will be done. Alright, so you can see I'm getting all these crate keys in chat and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, I hope this video helped, and if it did, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.